All right, guys, I got something I want to talk with you guys about today. Something I, I, I've, this is just an issue that I, I've heard a lot from you guys, you know, between comment section, live streams, private messages and stuff. It's a sentiment I've heard from you guys a lot. Now, I, I want to address it for, for whatever it's worth. Uh, again, I'm not a, you guys know, I'm not one of those big believers in, I have all the answers because I've been able to live for a long time. No, but what being able to live for a long time does is it, it it gives your perspective on a lot of things just because you've experienced it. And if, if me sharing any of that with you guys helps out in any way, it, it's something I enjoy doing. But before we get into that, I want to touch on something else really quick. Uh, most of you guys saw that I posted a video yesterday. It was, um, the, it was titled, Church People Can Be Salty. It was just a, a, a quick little spot about you know me and not really fitting in well in church and not understanding how things work. I still think I, sh I still think it should be optional. That basket should be optional whether you want to put in or take out, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to whine about that. But what I should mention is I, I, I did point out that I got hit with holy water and that was, that was true, completely true. And, and it was funny. I, sh I should have pointed this out to you probably in the video. It was actually kind of hilarious. My grandson was cracking up because at one point the priest, Okay, he came down the center aisle. Now, I was away from center on the other end on, on the, the bench pew, whatever, pew -wee, whatever it's called there. And so he's got his little holy water spritzer or whatever the hell thing. It looks like a bubble maker. You know, they take it and they do this and they shoot water at you. And the, as he came down, I got a couple drops on me and then I didn't think anything of it. Now, I was turned towards the altar area where my granddaughter was. I didn't realize that the priest and his cronies area has, has people walking with them with him had circled around and now they're coming up behind me. Well, have you guys ever been on like one of those raging river rides at a theme park? You know, the ones where you get like eight, ten people in this big boat slash raft thing and, and it goes through twists and turns and over the rapids. And at some point that boat will like nose first into a big portion of water where the water's really deep and that will send a huge wave to come over the back of all the people whose backs are against that that portion of the water that's what he did to me with his holy water thing i swear it was a wave it was a tsunami that came up over my head i didn't know it was coming and drenched down on me and as i did it i was because again i was looking this way my, my grandson was just a few people away from me and i see his eyes get big he's like because he saw it coming and what what I'm wondering is how did that's pretty intuitive that priest somehow knew that I needed like extra extra amounts of holy water to have any opportunity for it to take any effect at all and I will tell you this the holy water did burn it burned a lot it really hurt but it was <laughs> it was comical I so wish I had that on tape because I swear to you guys my grandson saw it and he was like that's how I knew something was coming because his eyes got big and he's like holy crap they're they're trying to kill my grandpa with with holy water. I'm not even sure if he used the spritzer thing. I think he just took the bucket and dumped it on me. But I wish I would have had that on tape. I, I just thought that was a little addendum to what <laughs> what went on. Pretty Kudos to the priest for realizing that that was his only chance, but it didn't take. You know, the, the boil and burn marks are already receding, and I'm back to being, you know, evil. All right, what I want to talk to you guys about is dreams. A lot of people have been talking to me, uh, whether, again, comments, live streams, private messages about their dreams because most of you are younger and <laughs> what's life without having dreams? It's boring. So I'm glad you all have them. But when you guys talk about your dreams to me, I, I get a lot of, sometimes it's perception, sometimes it's stated that you just don't really feel good about the idea of being able to achieve your dreams. That a lot of, you know, a lot of you just seem like, you know, Hey, this is something I really want to do, but eh, things don't work out for me. So you know, it, it'll never happen. And it just seems like a lot of self-confidence is missing and stuff. Now, I'm not, I'm not a bullshitter type of guy. I'm not the type of guy to give you rah-rah speeches with no reason to back them up just to try and make you feel better because I said rah-rah for you. But I will tell you this, and this to me is of the utmost importance when it comes to dreams. A dream is 100% not about the destination. It's about the journey. Completely. If you have a dream, and I've, this is something I've lived my life by, if you have a dream, get after it. If you don't achieve it, so what? 
You're going to have a great time trying to hunt it down. The journey can be just the journey can be just as much of a rush as the eventuality, as the culmination. Even if you do achieve the dream, the journey is still a huge part of it and always will be. Whatever you guys' dreams are, whether there's something whether there's something modest, maybe maybe you want to start a YouTube channel and get all the way up to 100 subscribers. Go after it. That's a modest goal, but go after it and do it. Maybe your dream is something much bigger and, and more difficult to achieve. Maybe, maybe your dream is to become a Super Saiyan. You know what? Go after it. Are the odds good that you're going to achieve it? Well, of course they're not good that you're going to achieve it. Who cares? You're going to have a great time training, working out, working on that Kamehameha. It doesn't matter. It's all about the journey. Life is so cool when you're chasing a dream. It's so much fun. And you can't put all your eggs into the achievement basket because it really, it, achieving your dreams is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. But the long and short of it is, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be a great experience no matter what, if you allow it to be. Whatever it is you guys are after, I, I, I've had dreams. My first dream, before I, the only thing I really had a passion for prior to wrestling when I was a little kid was baseball. I always wanted to be a major league ball player. I was a pretty good player. I got I even went so far as I got tryouts with a couple of professional teams. Obviously I didn't make it, but I got tryouts. And it dawned on me, and I'll tell you this story really quickly. I learned a lot about the harsh realities of that dream when I was playing baseball in a league in California. I lived in Vacaville, California. We had a team called the Braves. It was a semi pro league. There was a team from Oakland called the Ravens. Now, the Ravens were loaded. They would go the whole season undefeated. They were pretty much all ex-pros and future pros. I mean, they were good. And I always consider myself a good ball player. I think I was a good ball player. But when we played the Ravens, it became obvious to me that there was a different level of being a really good ball player and being a guy who's going to go to the major leagues. And I wasn't quite to that next level. And that kind of, that kind of sucked. But you know what? In hindsight, and it was really quickly in hindsight after I realized that, it's like, I don't care. I've had a, a lifetime of fun playing baseball. I love baseball. To this day, I still love baseball. I'll go out and sit and just watch any random game anywhere. If I see a pickup baseball game going and I'm walking by a park, I've done this when I used to drive motor coach in New York City. I'd be down the city and you're just walking around, you know, for the day while your group's doing whatever. If I see a, a, a ball game going on in one of the parks, I would just sit and watch the kids play. Because I love the game. That was all part of the of the journey. That I didn't make the destination. <laughs> so what? I had a I had a great time. Wrestling was another story. I always want. I decided when I was little, I wanted to, you know be the WWWF champion. But when I learned that wrestlers, as I got older and I started getting into the business, I learned that wrestlers were on the road three hundred days a year, and that family is very important to me and I didn't want to give up family for it, I decided, you know what, I'll just stay in the indies and have a great time. I loved every second of it. A lot of people would say, no, you never achieved your dream. I didn't see you on TV. I didn't, I didn't see you holding up the WWE title. No, you're right. I didn't. But you know what? I got to entertain people as a wrestler. I got to make people hate me. I got to make people love me. I got to bring that form of entertainment to them that I had always dreamed about doing. So it doesn't matter. And as much as I love every moment of my wrestling career, I loved every moment of chasing the dream of being a professional ball player too. They're both equal in the end. Whatever you guys' dream is, go after it. What, do not inhibit your ability to dream. If you see something that, whatever captures your interest, you, you like to sing. Don't sing a few bars into a mic play it back and go, you know what, I'm not up to where I need to be. I This is something I'm going to give up. I, no, you don't give up. Plug away at it. Have some fun. Learn, gain all the knowledge you can. Practice every day, whatever your dream is, and keep going after it. Because again, and I can't express this to you enough, it's not the destination, it's the journey. And you will have so much fun in pursuit of that dream. Please, you guys. We talk about this so many times. I've talked to you guys about your dreams, your aspirations. Go after them. And along the way, every pitfall you hit, every achievement you do make, let me know. I love hearing that stuff from you guys. But that's today's advice. If you got a dream, go after it. Not because rah, rah, rah. If you work hard enough, you'll get it. No, you may not. I worked really hard at baseball. I didn't become a professional baseball player. 
but I still love every second of chasing that dream. Now, granted, uh, at no point in my life do I remember ever having a dream of being doused with holy water and having it burn. Never was that a dream, but hey, sometimes, you know, even little sideline things happen that you never dreamed about that turn out to be <laughs> super fun. Go after your dreams. I'm with you.